Now, we'll come to the next question. Next question also related to another application area. We can say one of the simple thing. Every household we know these things. We are struggling for this income. Everybody is are worried. But finally, income what we are doing? Either we are just expending means expenditure will be there. Expenditure plus savings. Mainly two things we are doing. Expenditure, all the expenditure it will come. Either you are uh, you are doing expenditure for your livelihood or you are doing expenditure for your food or whatever you are, maybe for your luxurious thing. Anything you have spent, it will come under ex expenditure. Or whatever you kept in your bank or PF account, PPF account or FD or maybe pol LIC policy, that will come under savings. Means everybody, income will be divided in two parts, expenditure and savings. Ideal theory is there. Whatever your income is there, because you can't compare the income, income anybody is earning 10 lakh per month, somebody is earning 10,000 per month, somebody earning 5,000 per month, every type of people are there. We should not worry about the amount of income, but we should always worry about this ratio of expenditure and saving. Then minimum ideal ratio, it should be 80 ratio 20. This is one of the golden principle. Whatever you are earning, 20% you save, 80% you can expend. 20% minimum, if you are able to save more, you can save it. But minimum 20% you should put in savings, any form of the savings and 80% you enjoy the life, whatever your income is there. If your income is 10,000, you enjoy 8,000, 2,000 you save. If your income is 1 lakh, 80,000 you enjoy, 20,000 you save. This is ideal example, means ideal this is golden principle, but it will not always applicable because many of the things will be there. Many of the times maybe saving, saving itself will not there, we will go in negative, means our expenditure will become more than income and that will create the mental tension. Once your expenditure is more than income, you are going in negative balance sheet. Your balance sheet is going to negative means again it will create a problem because saving itself is not there and you are going in negative side. Now always be careful expenditure should not go beyond income. Expenditure should be equal to income minimum. Then here this question is telling Simran saves 6% of income after 6% of income. That is on a statement. It is not. It is full stop. After three years, her income increased by 12.5%, but saving is 6%. Saving is still 6%, but income has increased by 12.5%. Then find the percentage change in expenditure. Now, one thing has changed compared to last or last to last question, wherever we are dealing with the multiplication. Here, what is? We are dealing with the addition. If we are dealing with the multiplication, then what will happen? Based on the inversely proportional and directly proportional, we will be able to decide if 1 by x increase, then it will be 1 by x plus 1 decrease. But here it will happen same thing? No. Income is directly proportional to saving and income is directly proportional to expenditure. If savings are constant, then what will happen? Income will directly proportional to expenditure. If income is directly proportional to expenditure, if income is increased by 1 by x, expenditure also will increase by 1 by x. Very simple. Whatever you are making change in income, that much your expenditure also will change because your saving is not changing. Just suppose if saving also changing, then what will happen? Can we able to apply the rule 1 by x, 1 by x plus 1? No. Why? Because we are not dealing with multiplication. There, application is a into b equal to constant, the speed into time equal to constant. Here, expenditure plus saving equal to income. Here, we are dealing with the addition. Be careful. Be careful. Then here we are dealing with the addition. Then we have to just calculate based on the individual change. We have to calculate based on the individual change. But, but for this question, what will the percentage change of expenditure? It will be again 12.5%, nothing else. 12.5% 12, 12 income has increased, then this also will increase. If you are not just to take 100, earlier it was 6% your savings and 94 was your expenditure. Now. You have increased to 112 rupees, 12.5 percent. I have taken in round figure, 112. Your savings are still 6 rupees. And then remaining out of 112, 6 is out, 106, it will be your expenditure. This is your uh, savings, this is your expenditure, this is your income. Then this change they are asking. This change is 12.5 percent increase. This change also will be 12.5 percent increase. It is not going to change. Here, 